Jay-Z came in kind of right at the top of, of when I got signed. Okay. Like, um, you know, LA, LA was always, you know, always top dog, but he took, he took a, he's CEO president, you know? So, um, yeah, Jay, I mean, my first time going to 106 Park, Jay-Z took me on there. First time going to TRL, Jay-Z took me on. Um, he really kind of just took me under the wing. Like, you know, this is, this is our new R&B artist. Right. And, and I, I, I've, I appreciate him to this day for it, man. He got upset with you because you, you wrote a song and you gave it away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, uh, shortly before, before the Def Jam situation happened, uh, I, I leaned on songwriting. Right. You know, I was, just, I was just a songwriter. So I wrote a song for Mario, You Should Let Me Love You. Right. So this song goes on and, and uh, stays at number one for like 12, 13 weeks, something like that. Um, uh, becomes one of the most played songs in radio history. So when I, the first time I got to meet Jay Z, by this time I've, I've been signed for you know a couple months at this point. Uh, I walk into the room and he's in there. He's in L.A. Reid's office. I walk in. I'm like, Hey, how you doing? It's nice to meet you. He's like, Man, why you get a damn song away? Like, That's first day. Nice, nice to meet you too, bro. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm Neo. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hi, why you get a damn song away? Yeah. To the, to this day. Yeah, he get on me about giving a damn song away. But I was just a songwriter when I wrote right. it. I, I didn't write it for myself. I mean, right. had I known. Do you think you could have done it justice like Mario did? Um, I'll be the first to tell you that Mario got chops that I don't. You know, that I, I ain't got no shame in that. Right. Um, but I know that I got chops too. Right. So yeah, I'm, I feel like I feel like it would have worked either way. Do you have you ever given a song away that you felt you should have kept? Uh, once or twice. Once or twice. Um, there was a point in time where I would have a little bit of separation anxiety with certain songs. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like, especially if I hear the end result and be like, and, and am not totally pleased with some of the des decisions made. Right. You know, then it becomes that feeling of, man, if you was going to do that, I could just kept my damn song. Right. But, but at the same time, you have to, you have to let an artist be an artist. Right. Like, I can't allow a person, I can't expect a person to think the way that I'm going to think, make the choices that I'm going to make, especially when I've, I've given them the song. Like uh, Beyonce, for example, if you hear my version of Irreplaceable, right. you, you hear the basis, you hear the foundation, right. but then you hear her version and you hear all the Beyonce-isms that she put right. on top of it. Like right. you want an artist to right. do that right. with a record. Yeah, you want that. When did you know your pen game was strong? Um, when I got my name, honestly. Um, I got my name from a, a producer friend of mine, uh, Dion Evans. Uh, he used to work a lot with uh, with Digital Underground back in the day, yeah. and Pac and all of them. Um, he was a person that dubbed me Neo. It was it was shortly after the Matrix movie it came I out. I was gonna say, so which came first, that Neo Matrix uh, nah, 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 or yeah. Matrix Neo came first? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that Neo definitely came first. Okay. Uh, but the reference was. Um, the way Neo could do things in the Matrix that other people couldn't do. Correct. I could do things in music that other people mm -hmm. couldn't do. Like, for example, I used to pride myself on how fast I could write a song. Right. Like, give me an hour, I'll give you 12 records. Quick, quick, quick. Now, notice I said 12 records. I ain't say 12 good records. Right. I Make learned later on right. <laughs> quality versus quantity. Right. But at that moment, I was I was the cat that was going to get in there and just crank them out. And Dion says to me, he's like, I ain't, he's like, he, like he had never seen that before. Like right. you like the neo of the music industry, and that's where the name came right. from. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.